now with the concerns those neighborhoods are facing. See on and in yellow residents say they are tired of their neighborhoods being used as dumping grounds and they want more transparency about what's in the sediment. And the dredge material waste sites here just keep getting higher and higher every year. This map shows the dredge material waste sites that sit in the Pleasantville and Galena Park communities. Brown indicates active sediment dumps. Purple shows sites set to be reopened. And the one in red is a new site that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers wants to build to offload sediment from the Houston Ship Channel expansion. Behind my house, actually. For Cruz Hinojosa and other residents, the reopening and creation of dump sites brings renewed concern about their health. We're very concerned about what's around our environment. We're surrounded by industry. We got the dread sites up here. They're about to get bigger. We just want to make sure that that everything is tested so we can eliminate some of the burns we have in Galena Park. We're pushing it. We're, we're pushing for solutions um, and for action, specifically from the Army Corps right now. Hernandez Trevino is with Public Citizen, a watchdog group calling for the Army Corps of Engineers to place the potentially toxic sediment away from neighborhoods. Inevitably, that material is going to include, you know, a mixture of the chemicals that you see all around the ship channel, which include ca cancer causing chemicals such as benzene. Mm -hmm. We can no longer pretend like it's a coincidence that our, our communities are the ones that are being sacrificed. In a statement from a spokesperson for the United States Army Corps of Engineers, they said that they process and analyze all material in accordance with EPA and TCEQ standards. They say we've always done it with a high degree of expertise and care. All sample material here is in compliance with the Clean Water Act criteria. They add that they are working with the community. They will listen to their concerns. Live in the newsroom, Sion Rhodes, KPRC 2 News.